final race on the card was the Weatherby's champion bumper. It appeared to be a Willie Mullins benefit, with the trainer fielding eight of the 24 runners. But as is often the case, jump racing doesn't always follow the script. Dunn Gwib in the black sleeves has cut through the pack, travelling stronger than most. And then on the outside, Shinrock Paddy, and further left is Red Harbour, and Cranky Corner is also coming through in a green cap as they head towards the final bend. And Dunn Gwib is galloping all over them at the moment. Right of passage in second, then Morning Supreme. Some present back in fourth, Keller Spring, Cranky Corner. But he's only had to twitch on this, Dunn Gwib, and he's shot away now, Dunn Gwib, as they race towards the final furlong or so. Dunn Gwib is shaken up. Leads by eight lengths, right of passage, some present fighting it out for second. Then Keller, Spree, Morning Supreme and Cranky Corner. But racing up the hill, Dunn Gwib is well clear in the hands of Brian O'Connell here. And looks something special. Leads by ten lengths, racing for the line. And Dunn Gwib is scorching clear in the bumper and wins in terrific fashion. Second, some present. Third, right of passage. Then Keller, Spree in fourth. They're a long way clear of Morning Supreme. Then lead the parade and Cranky Corner. So the Irish continue their domination of the bumper and the meeting. You couldn't help but be impressed with the way Dunguib ate up the hill to win by 10 lengths for trainer Philip Fenton.